John. The other one that I've been testing is Fubo TV and the re at Fubo.tv. And we've got links for all of these in the show notes here. And the thing that got me to start testing Fubo, John, is that YouTube TV does not have the same channel lineup uh, that Fubo has. And one of the things that Fubo has is our local sports station, NESN. And we like to watch the Bruins sometimes. And we also like to watch the local UNH games if we're not at them. And many times those show up on Nesson. Uh, Fubo prides itself in being the network or the service that has access to all your regional sports networks, your RSNs. YouTube TV has been divesting itself of those relationships. Uh, and so they do not have Nesson anymore. And it's not entirely sure if they're going to get it back. Uh, I think Nesson charges them five bucks a customer. Fubo passes that cost right along to you, right? So effectively, Fubo is the same price uh, with add-ons if you want, but Fubo winds up with your your regional sports networks being that same 65 bucks a month. Uh, but Fubo only has a 30-hour DVR for your account. So unlimited YouTube TV, 30-hour for Fubo. Um, their user experience especially on our LG TV. And to be fair, the app is new. It's new as of like May, I think, John. But um, it's not great. In fact, it's pretty terrible. We can't really watch anything with it. For example, on our TV, when we go to fast forward things in Fubo, it just it's like a traditional fast forward. There's no 15 second skip and there's no thumbnail. So we hit fast forward and I can watch the counter go and the screen is black otherwise. And I just have to guess blind whether or not I'm where I want to be in the show. So that's non-optimal. It, it, it really makes watching things on it quite terrible, especially when we could watch the same thing, at least currently on YouTube TV. So what we've been saying we want is the YouTube TV experience on our TV with Fubo's lineup. Uh, you can pay more uh, with Fubo. You can pay an extra, uh, I think an extra five or six bucks a month to add a family plan to that. And that increases your DVR from 30 hours to 250 hours, uh, but still more limited than what YouTube TV has. And the biggest one for us, and this doesn't seem to be universal on Fubo TV, John, but it's definitely something we've experienced more often than not. We will DVR a show. It will start. And this happened with the bachelor, the other the bachelorette, the other night, whatever it was they were watching. Uh, you know, we went, we turned it on. And the show had already started. It was, it starts at 8 PM Eastern. Uh, it might've been eight 20 by the time we like finished cleaning up from dinner or whatever. We go in, we hit play and it gives me two options. It says, yes, this is in progress. The recording in progress. Do you want to join it live or do you want to stop the recording so that you can go back to the beginning? And it's like, well, I want neither one of those things. I want to keep it recording and start at the beginning like I can on YouTube. And Fubo was like, yeah, that's not an option. Uh, and evidently, this has been a problem with them for quite some time. Especially, it becomes a real problem with sports games where they add an extra hour to the end of the recording just to make sure, you, you know, you don't miss overtime or whatever that is. And so people sometimes have to wait hours after a game has completed to start watching it. That doesn't seem like a good experience for a service that prides itself on being there for sports primarily. Um, but you know, that's, um, that's, that's been our experience with it. Um, I'm hoping that to see them, uh, get better with that. We will keep an eye on it because like I said, their, their channel offerings are way better with Fubo than they are with YouTube TV for us. But that's really what it comes down to is the for us. They are, um, they're about the same price and they are um, equally uh, targeting, you know, similar audiences. So, uh, but YouTube TV is the one we're leaning towards, even though we're probably going to be unhappy about not having access to Nesson. So I don't know what we're going to do at the moment. Access to Nesson isn't that big of a deal for us. So we're hoping that by the time it matters, somebody will have sorted out either YouTube will have added it or Fubo will have cleaned up their interface for our TV and we can actually, you know, suffer through it a little bit better.